When it comes to creating workbooks, you may find it easier to use some of Microsoft's default templates. What are templates? Well, they're nothing more than somebody putting together a bunch of formatting and text and fonts into a workbook with a specific task in mind. For example, let's say I want to invoice somebody. There's an invoice template. If I want to create an expense report, there's an expense report template. There's a number of templates or default settings that we can use instead of having to start from scratch ourselves. For example, to see those, I'm going to come up here and click on the Office logo button, come down, click on New, and then under the Templates category, I'm going to select the installed templates, the ones that have been installed on my computer when I installed Excel 2007. Give it a second or two to update, and then just click on any one of these to get a preview over here, and then give it a second or two to pull up. When you find the one that you like, go ahead and select it and then click Create. I'm going to go for the Expense Report, double click on that, it pulls it up. It doesn't pull up in normal view, it pulls up in the page layout view because in the page layout, as you recall in the previous training videos, it gives us the header and footer section here, which I wouldn't be able to see in the normal view. So I have my company name here. I can come up here and then again this is a template. All I have to do is just change the text here to fit or suit my needs for the task that I want to complete. And this is going to be for Dreamforce. And then come down here and let's say the expense report is, I'm going to double click within the cell, hit the space bar 2008 and hit enter. See all I'm doing is coming in here and making this template my own. Now by default when I click save it's not going to overwrite that template. The whole purpose of a template is is that you can create copies of it. So the moment I clicked on new and it dumped it here it created the copy of the template. And the way I know that is because first of all up at the title bar it says expense report 1. And if I created more it would be expense report 2, 3, and 4. It's got some generic name up there but I don't want it to be called expense report. After I'm finished editing and formatting and making this my own when I click on the save button Notice it doesn't just automatically save it. It says, look, this is created from a template. I'm giving you a copy, so go ahead and tell me what the name of this expense report is or the copy of the template and where you want to dump it or where you want to save it. So I can call this, and then when I'm finished, go ahead and click on the Save button. And then up in the title bar, now it's my expense report, so I can go ahead and continually make changes down here. Maybe it's for 2007, and then all I have to do is click Save, and it won't ask me those two questions again because it now has a name and it knows where to save it which is in my exercise folder on my desktop. Now these aren't the only templates that are available. When you installed Excel 2007 on your computer, it came with a few templates, but if you want more templates, there's more available on the web. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the close button here to close out of that workbook, and then come up here and click on the Office logo, go down to New. You can see in this category below, Microsoft Office Online. So you can click on the categories below for featured, agendas, budgets. Of course, make sure you have internet connections so you can download those. And give it a second or two, just depends on your internet speed here. There we go, we have some of the featured ones. And then over to the right, they have a larger view of it, also with the ratings. I mean, how many votes it got? Do people really find this helpful for them? So we got a household monthly budget calendar landscapes. I mean, you could spend quite some time down in here in each one of these categories and viewing the different templates that are available. Or you can get more specific. Let's say I want to look for a template about events. You can come up here and you see where it says search Microsoft Office Online for a template. Click in there and let's go ahead and type in event schedule and then click on the start searching button. I think I like the five day event schedule. I click on that, get a bigger view over here. If you like it, then just go ahead and double click on it. It downloads it to your computer, and then you can go ahead and, of course, make whatever changes you want to it. Make it your own. Over here, just type over where the text is, the generic text, sponsored by, double-click in here, and then select it. And like I said, make it your own. Make the changes in there. Change the formatting. Hopefully it's not too drastic of a change, otherwise it would probably just be easier if you didn't use templates and you created one from scratch. And then when you're finished, be sure to save your work. So on my desktop, this is the five day of event schedule. We can just call it DS for Dreamforce. And then I want it in the exercise folder, so I'll double click on that and then click save. Now I can spend the rest of the time making the changes, typing the events, um, changing the locations, the date, the time, and so forth. And then when I'm finished, I'm just going to go ahead and close out. Now how about if we create a custom template based upon a currently used workbook? For example, in the previous training videos, you saw that I had, when I clicked on my Office logo button here, my comments, and I pull that up. This is where we inserted some comments in that training video. And let's say that I like this invoice so much that I don't want to just use it or limit it to medical practice solutions because Dreamforce does more. They also do training videos for Microsoft. So what I want to do is I want to clean up some of the information in here and make it more generic. So that way, when I save it as a template, I can create a copy of a template and then just fill in whether it's going to be medical practice solutions or training videos, whoever we're going to bill. So maybe I want to get rid of the medical billing training, just delete that. 
Of course, the logo, I'm not going to delete that just yet, but if I had a new logo, I would delete it and replace it with another one. And so once you cleaned up your workbook, something that you always want to in the future use and create copies of, and in this case it's not going to be just for medical practice, but also for any other work that Dreamforce does, on-site training with Microsoft. Again, once you clean it up, then to save it as a template, you want to come up here and click on the Office logo button, go down and click on Save As. Of course, give it a name. We can call it now we don't want to save it as a workbook because this is a template. So I want to click on the drop down arrow, come up here and find the one that says Excel template and it's XLTX. Remember if it has that extra X on the end, that means it's for Excel 2007. I mean if not it'll tell you that it's not for Excel 97 to 2003 doesn't have the extra X, does it? In any case, I'm going to save it as an Excel template, click on it, automatically dumps me in my templates folder here that you can see, and then all I have to do is just go ahead and click Save. So when I'm finished, I can go ahead and close out of the workbook here and then say, okay, it's a new day. I have an invoice I need to send to somebody who I just did Excel training for, and instead of using my medical billing training invoice, I've got a, now a generic template. To bring that up, just come up here, click on the Office logo, go down to New, and it's going to be under My Templates. Click on that get a little pop-up and there it is DF invoice double click on that it creates a copy of the template so that way after I make some changes in here bill a customer type in the unit price that gives me the total and so forth when I click save it's gonna ask me okay what name do you want to give me and where do you want to save it it's not gonna overwrite the template that I just created remember it always creates a copy of it and that's good because hey I have a lot of different trainings to do and not every invoice is gonna be training on Excel there may be access, there may be additional medical billing trainings that we do on site as well. Now it dumps me back in the templates folder because that was the most recent folder I was in. I don't want to save my new invoice, my Excel invoice, like let's say to client XYZ. So what I want to do is go to my desktop. I can save it in the clients folder if I have a folder for the client, but since this is an exercise, I'll double click on that and open it up and say this is for client XYZ. And then maybe let me hit home and type in the date and then go ahead and click save. Now, there's two questions. First of all, if I need to update my template because, yes, maybe I do want Medical Practice Solutions logo to be in there, or maybe I do want other job descriptions or something more to add or to take away from the template, then what you want to do is you want to first open up a workbook or a template, restructure it the way you want, and then go back and I have up here my Save As button, so I can click on Save As or hit F12 on the keyboard. Click on the drop-down arrow, go back to your template XLT, and there it is right there and then all you have to do is just select it, that name, so the name's down here, because what we want to do is you want to overwrite the DF invoice with this new template or this new workbook that I created. So that's going to be the new template, the go-to template, and then click Save. It'll say, do you want to replace it? Go ahead and click Yes, and it saves it. Now that's how you update the template, by overriding it or saving over it. Now if you want to delete the template, you don't want it there anymore. First of all, let me go ahead and close out of my workbook here. To be able to delete your old templates, first you have to do a Save As. I think that's basically the easiest way to delete a template is by clicking on the Office logo button, opening up a new blank workbook, let me double click on blank workbook, and then do a save as. Because when you do save as, and you click on the drop down arrow to select the extension XLT, it shows all my XLTX templates here. Then I can go ahead and right click on it, go down and left click to delete it, and then click yes, and it removes it. If there was a shorter way of doing this, I would tell you, but as far as deleting your old templates, you want to perform a save as. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly, and you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.